What's going on guys, me David here back for another shave and today Oh, before we get this video started I'm cutting in because I totally forgot something Happy birthday to the homie, Lord Shady Those of us that, that know him a little bit more well He is Joey Happy birthday homie, thanks for everything You've been a breath of fresh air And you've been a very welcome And just fucking funny addition To kind of the inner circle of things man Thanks for just being you, and I hope you had a great day, dog. Now, on to the shave. Today we're switching things up a little bit. I'm going to be using a DE razor. I have borrowed a couple DE razors from the homie Sefferton Shaves. You guys know Sefferton. Um, he is like a superstar uh, of the shaving world now. He's just uh, taking the shaving world by storm. I'm exaggerating a little bit, but nah, man, he's really grown in popularity. His Instagram uh, page, Sefferton Shaves, has been growing very steadily. Also gets great reactions and shows a lot of support over on the Facebook group. So if you're not familiar with him, get familiar with him. Check him out on Instagram, Sefferton Shaves. Or again, you can find him over on Lather and Blade Facebook group. So I'm going to be trying this razor right here. I'm going to go ahead and sh show you guys a couple pics right now, a little bit more up and close of this razor so you can check it out. All right, so you guys got to see those pictures. This is the Razor Rock Lupo. Razor Rock Lupo 72 to be... Um, exact it does say made in Canada has a nice little serial number that whole deal um, allegedly I don't it may even say it in the description I don't know this head was modeled after the Wolfman WR1 again I don't know how true that is I'm not too familiar with all the listings over on the Razor Rock uh, page but if it is in fact based off that head I expect it to perform fantastic it does have some similarities that I could offhand I can remember. We'll see again if it is modeled after that. You should have a good performing razor here. Um, I hope it is good and it is a great price. It was I don't know was it around seventy five bucks? Seventy five bucks full stainless steel. I love the barber the barber pole style handle. These are some of my favorite handles. They're just damn good looking, man. And as you would expect from anything the Razor Rock usually sells, especially in their stainless steel line of razors it's as good as it gets for that price point and i'll tell you it's not far off from some of the premium offerings in terms of look the polish is not what your is not where it would be at like say if you're getting like a carbon or a wolf man those mirror polishes are phenomenal but it looks good there's really not a whole lot to complain about in terms of the aesthetics the fit and finish it's a good looking razor and can't beat the price so Today I'm going to go ahead and be using, you guys seen this on the last video, I'm going to go ahead and use it again. Because when I first got this brush from Nate, I'm like, what the hell am I going to match this thing with? It has the little funky colors and whatnot, and I'm like, I don't think I have anything that matches that. Well, I remember I got in the box that uh, Ken, Shave326, sent me. He sent me a few, uh, like, a bunch of different sets. And it just so happens... That I get, I have this gaudy looking label right here that I think goes pretty damn well. So I was like, well, Jesus, I actually found a way to make this look probably pretty presentable in a shave of the day photo. Today we're going to be using Lather Bros Flamingo Trance. It's a tropical bay rum. Now, I'm not a huge fan of bay rums, um, but this one is not offensive whatsoever. You actually get that fruitiness a little bit more up front and the bay rum actually brings down that sweetness and kind of mellows everything out it's actually damn good like i don't have a problem with this at all pure bay rums not a fan of nor is rocio she would have a heart attack if i had anything that was predominantly bay rum this bay rum is used just to really round out the scent and balance it out and i'm, I'm actually a, a fan so we're going to check this out we're going to go ahead and use this Smiles for Miles brush. I'll tell you, I love this Smiles for Miles knot. It is damn good. I don't know how consistent his knots are, like if all of them are the same, if he gets the same vendor all the time. This one, it's good. Slightly gelled without feeling too slimy. 
really good on the face. It kind of gives you everything you want, man. I'm actually really, really impressed with the knot in itself. So props for that. Like I, I am one that says that most of the knots we're getting feel pretty similar. This one actually, I, I, I like what it has to offer, man. It has a nice balance between that gel and the backbone. It doesn't eat the lather from what I've seen so far. And it feels good on the face. That, that, those fruity notes kick up and again, but it does have that bay, that bay rum in the background. They're really accents it well. I'm actually pretty impressed. This is my first use of a Lather Bros product. So that's always nice to try out a new, a new company. Definitely need some more water. That's a nice ladder. Oh, look at that. I lost the hair. That is the first hair I've lost from it. I didn't use it on the last shave. And I didn't lose any, so. We'll see how that goes. We'll see if that's uh, kind of a unique thing or if we see a trend. If it's a trend, definitely a bad thing. But I'm not going to freak out over that one. So here we go. First use with the Razor Rock Lupo 72. This has a fresh Gillette Nasset blade in it. The Gillette Nasset is one of my favorite razors to pair with the carbon. So I'm going to try it out with this. I, li I like the audible feedback that I'm getting from the razor. Now, Razor Rock does prove that you don't have to go always with a premium price to get a really, really nice product. But even though some of the really nice products are fantastic, that carbon, I've never owned one of those quote unquote super premium razors until that carbon razor and it, it blows everything else away for the, the for the experience that I want from a DE. And this is nice. This you're not going to fit if you have a carbon or even my favorite setting on like the Rockwell 6S is going to be the, the five plate. So right off the bat, you're not getting the same amount of blade feel as you would get from the Rockwell 6S on that five plate or the carbon, but it is enough to be satisfying. There's more blade feel on this than say that, uh, that Marvel razor that I used a couple shaves ago and more blade feel if you have the lower number than lower gapped uh, game changer there is a little bit more blade feel than that so this is an enjoyable razor for me but again you could tell well right right when like three swipes into it you kind of know if a razor will fit your preferences in terms of just the feel now the performance you get a better idea of that as the shave goes on But the aesthetics, a plus. The feel of it on my face, a real plus. Now, I don't, oh, I'm not one of those people that equates um, price with, uh, you know, I, I don't think that the most expensive stuff is always the best stuff to use. I have always enjoyed the Wolfman razors. I've gotten to try, I think, probably about five of them, various blade gaps, open comb, close combs, whatever, over the years. And I've always liked them, but I never fell in love with them in, in order to want to buy one for the prices that they go for. Same thing, I don't think the cheap stuff is always bad performing. Sometimes it is. I know a popular razor, and I think somebody on... um. 
on one of CDB's recent videos was talking about, oh, all the superstars in wet shaving love the 34C. I think the 34C is shitty. It's very mild. I don't get the blade feel that I like. I don't like the end result. It, it just, for me, it shaves very pedestrian. So when some of these, I guess, again, using his own, own words, um, when one of these shaving superstars say it's their favorite razor or included in a bunch of shaves, I don't think they're completely stupid in knowing that the 34C is probably uh, the most popular DE razor that there is because it is a, it is a two-piece design, which makes it very easy for beginners to use. There's less pieces to deal with. And it's affordable. Does that make it the best shaver? For me, no. I understand the pros from it, but these guys, they're gonna use it because a lot of people look for that razor. They're gonna wanna see shaves that have that razor because everybody wants to be validated by the, by the, for the purchases they, that they made, whether they spend $10 or they spend $1,000. Everybody always wants that affirmation from other people saying, you did a good thing, you bought a great razor. I'm not gonna fucking lie to y'all. I hate that razor and i know if i use products like the 34c more often if i use more products from like the Pro uh, procter and gamble company art of shaving you know any of the gillette things those would get more views as well i'm not gonna pretend to like some shit so i could get a few more views that, that's not something that i'm going to do um i get about three shaves in a week. I'm not going to waste it trying to appease um, people and use popular gear that so more people will love and adore me. No, I, I want to use either new stuff to experience something new and different or I want to try some shit that I love. I want to use some stuff that I really, really enjoy. And I'm just not going to waste it with that fucking 34C shit. That's, that's just not going to happen. And if that truly is your favorite razor, hey, all the power to you. I, I never understood men, and I, I only speak usually as a man because I don't know what women are thinking, what they go through, and all that stuff. But as a man, I never understood when men worry about what other people are spending on anything, period. Whether it be a razor or fucking five ply toilet paper, I don't give a shit. If you enjoy it and you can afford it, hey, have some fucking fun. But for people to be on a crusade on either side, oh, all the expensive shit's the best stuff just because it's expensive and it gives me the warm and fuzzies. Or, oh, all the cheap shit is the best because it work, It does the same thing. Don't, don't be that way. That's such a bitch thing for either side to do. You like some stuff, speak on your experiences, enjoy what the fuck you have, you want, buy what you like, and keep on pushing. You know, I, I I like the whole YouTube, uh, the YouTubers thing because, uh, again, none of us are going to be making no fucking money doing this shit. It's fucking absurd that some people think that we're really making a killing doing some of this stuff. Or we really get that much free product that it changes our life. It, it's fucking ridiculous. But what I love about this stuff is... Especially if you're somebody that likes to watch the YouTubers. Um, you start noticing YouTubers liking similar items to you or disliking similar items that you don't. And you could kind of trust their opinion on stuff. And it actually makes your purchases a little bit smarter. A little less, a little less risk. You're taking educated guesses because of the information that we're giving based on our experiences with the Razor. So that's what you need to take it for. And if you're fucking hate watching people, what a pathetic human being you are. If you dislike what people are saying and you hate them so much that you watch just so you can complain or judge 
or just be a whiny bitch. That, that that's what an unmanly way to, to to live, man. I could I never when I don't like something, I eliminate it from my life. Whether that be a TV show or whether that be family. If if they don't bring that value to my life. I'm just not going to deal with it. There ain't, why, why sit around and try to find something to get outraged by? Or, oh, let me see if I can poke at this guy and, and get a rise out of him. It's just, you, you see it. And again, it's not unique to our hobby. It's not unique to YouTube. There's people like this everywhere. You'll find co-workers like this. You'll find aunts and uncles and brothers and sisters that are this way. It's just... I can't understand it. Like, could you really have nothing going on in your life that you'll spend hours just being salty and hating on somebody? It's, it's very bizarre. It's weird for me. Again, I know there's a lot of people that are like that. It's still, I can't imagine doing it. It's just. So here we go. Third and final pass. I'll say this is one of the better offerings that I have felt from. From Razor Rock. And I have tried a lot of the razors. I tried like all the different models of the, of the. The Stealth Slants, the Game Changer. I had, I think, the Jaws. Was it the Razor Rock Jaws? I think I tried that one. I tried a couple generations of the Razor Rock Hawk. Which, that's good too. But, in terms of overall enjoyment and how I like this, this how it fits my preferences of blade feel, smoothness, how stiff... Uh, the blade feels, the feedback. It, this is probably one of my favorite razors from them. Possibly only second to that Razor Rock Stealth Slant, the Gen 1. That's the one that I have. I haven't used it in a while. That's Rocille's preferred shaver. So she pretty much uses it exclusively now. Which is fine, man. All this stuff is meant to get used. If she's using it and enjoying it, I'm happy. None of, my, none of this gear do I expect it to make it to no goddamn uh, museum or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse this off. And we're going to get into the final thoughts of everything that we use today. All right, we are back. We're going to go ahead and throw on some of the uh, aftershave splash. I hope it has alcohol in it because I'm going to be pretty disappointed. Yes, it has alcohol. So... Perfect. Let's check this out. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I, I think it's kind of a strange scent, man. But damn it, I like it. I like it. It has that bit, the, the, again, those, those brighter fruity notes rounded off with the bay rum. It just makes it, it makes it very palatable. Just, it's pretty fucking good. It's, it's, it's weird. I really wouldn't think that I'd be a fan of this scent. You know, off the top, reading the scent description, I wouldn't have liked it, but it worked out. So I want to say again, once again, thank you, Ken, for providing the Lather Bros Flamingo Trance, the aftershave splash as well to match. Uh, just thank you, bro. I really appreciate you contributing to the channel. Um, you used to appreciate my appreciation. You used to comment down below and say how much you appreciated my appreciation of you. But you haven't, you haven't shown any appreciation posts down there. What's going on? What's happening? Where's the appreciation of the appreciation? And, you know, it makes me sad. So, the Smiles for Miles brush. This was a collab with uh, somebody that does resin blanks. It is a funky color. I'm warming up to it a bit. But this knot, this knot is an absolute winner. I don't know if this is the norm. If every knot that he comes out with is like this. Because it's the only one I've tried. But it is damn good. And that one that I tried from Junior... That bulb, this is the fan, but the bulb, the bulb is good too. So uh, I'm pretty damn impressed with the Smiles for Miles knots. 
I definitely would like to have some of those for sure, at least two more um, for maybe some loose handles that I pick up later on, but we'll see how that goes. And lastly, the Razor Rock Lupo. It's a good ass razor. And at this price point, I think it beats anything else in this price point. I'm not gonna mention the names of any razors, uh, but at this price point below, and a lot of the shit above, this is this was a very, very enjoyable shave. So I'm happy, uh, Sefferton, thank you so much, bro, for letting me borrow this. Um, make sure I have this in the mail to you sometime soon so you can get back your stuff. Also, I'm going to send you out that carve so you can try that out, man. Hopefully you enjoy it. Um, but yeah, that, hey, that's it, guys. I am done. If you made it to this point of the video, all the rest of y'all, not just Ken, but everybody else too, I just want to tell you how much I appreciate you guys. Um, things are starting to settle down now. The things are not so crazy in the household with all the sickness and everything going on, man. But again, thank you so much for your support in this very rocky 2021. If we thought that 2020 was crazy, for, for me and my family, 2021 has been a doozy. But things seem to be getting settled down, and I just hope and pray uh, that it continues on that path. And again, with you guys, I just thank you for sticking around and just showing all the support that you do. So with that being said... Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you on the next shave.